and the parallel society. We look at them, we are living in a society, we see there is a breakup in the, in, in the family. And we see the family is getting looser and looser with everything. So we said last time that what you do to your wife is an obligation coming from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you are not doing her a favor. You are doing yourself a favor by treating your wife right and also not to order her to do something Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said not to do. Or the Prophet said not to do. Not to order her to do things or stop doing things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to do. That's us. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, الرجال قوامون على الرس على النساء. It says that the men have a little notch above women. And I want you to understand, we don't talk about this equality. A, a woman is, is a, a, a equivalent to the, to the husband. The wife and the man are equivalent. Because if a man steals, he will be punished with one punishment that will apply to the same lady if she steals too. If we are equal in punishment, we are equal with everything else. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave that notch to men only to make them understand that you are going to look after that family and for that job you get that little notch and also in a family you need somebody to, to have the final say some families have the wife that says the final say nothing wrong with that but as long as we have good family good structure that it's built on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and his prophet now if we build our families and pay attention to our children and our wives. That's an obligation we have. So I would do that to ourselves, to our own family. If your children turn out to be good people, you get the results. And if they turn out to be uh, bad people, you pay for it at the end. So it's very important for us, brothers and sisters, that we understand that you as a husband have one, one obligation, and that obligation has to be parallel to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said. And the Prophet had showed us in his life. Now the wife has an obligation to us. And that obligation is that we have to love them and respect them, provide to them. And the wife has few little obligations that she has. The work that we do, us as men outside the house, the wife, the wife is doing exactly the same thing inside the house. When we come back home, and we look at our wives, and we see our wives that hadn't finished her job, or hadn't cooked. None of us should fly his cab up his head and start yelling and screaming. Because we need to find out from this, from this lady what had happened during the day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنْفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا and this ayah defies what the West says. That they say, I have to love you before I marry you. This ayah, because of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for you a woman, a, 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 a wife, from you, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا So that as wajan, a wife, so they defined her as a wife, and then he said, لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا so that that uh, element of love and appreciation and care will, will, will start to expand. The West says, I have, you have to fall in love first. There's no such thing. There's nothing wrong with it, but it is not mandatory. It, as long as you have, you are following the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's instruction and the Prophet's teachings. Our wives have few obligations and we should understand them. That when we come to them at the end of the day, they have been jailed in that house in case if she didn't have to get out of that house. Come back and start start a new dialogue with that lady. No, I told you last time, nothing wrong if you start saying calling her sweetheart and, and lovely and baby. Nothing wrong with these things. In fact, it brings more harmonious life and atmosphere into the house. And I did tell you also that somebody one time, I said, I never called my wife anything in the past. How can I jump out of nothing and call her that? And I said, start to go to her and tell her, as of today, 
you being the best lady on this earth. I am going to call you lovely and baby and all these things. Nothing wrong with you. So, if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had instructed us, and the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam taught us how to live with our wife and be nice to them, and treat them good treatment, and not to come at the end of the day and act like a police officer in the house, and not to act li- li- like a ruler in the house, not to act like a judge in the house, not to act like any person who may have superior and 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 hate, hateful work with, with the wife. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us that, that notch because we expect us to treat them and treat them well. And unless otherwise we keep that in our mind, the unit of the family in the society will not be constructed properly. And consequently, you would see a lot of breakages, breakages and divorces in Islamic families. And I told you last time, it is, this is what's been happening. Every now and then, and then you hear there is a breakage in a family. And when you look at it, and you find you find it is a trivial thing, nothing that could cause a <coughs> breakup or a divorce or separation, especially when there are children. So we have to appreciate our our uh, uh, wives, brothers and sisters. There's one word I can summarize this and tell you: is communication. If you if we know how to communicate with our wives and with our families and have some appreciation to this family, we will not have any fights. We will have, have no arguments. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us all the rules that we can live with them and find harmonious atmosphere. They, they a, a wide obligation is not to allow anybody to come into your house that you don't like, to prepare your home, to look after your children, not to waste your money, that's all giving. No wife would ever step out of her way to do these things to her husband. But I tell you, when it becomes a, a challenge, when it be- becomes a matter of fights, if the wife's not being appreciated, sometimes, I, as, again, as I told you before, evil comes into their mind, says, do this in, in counteracting to that. This is where I start the problem. So you are the man, and you should be you are the starter. You are the initiator to start good uh, family uh, uh, conduct and good family love in the, uh, between the, uh, you and your wife and your children is to start treating her well. Open your ears to her needs. A lot of us sometimes, I tell people uh, during my different talks that us men don't have ears. And I mean it. We men don't tend to hear women when they talk. Simply, a lot of us think we are so superior that that we don't hear them. I tell my patients, women, uh, men don't have uh, don't have hole in the ear. If you want to tell something to your husband, write it down, and that's the best way to communicate. But truly, that shouldn't be. We should open our ears to our wives, show them love show them appreciation so that they can reflect back and give us love and appreciation. Now let me ask you, if you wake up in the morning and walk to your wife and say good morning, is she going to say